she's back. That's right, this computer is back in the garage. So previously, um, customer reaches out to me, he got a computer on the Facebook Marketplace for $100. It looked rough. I mean, this thing was rough. And uh, it's one of those things that don't judge a book by its cover, because as we dove into that computer, it was an i5-12400, 16 gigs of DDR4, 500 gig M.2, and an RTX 2060, and he paid $100 for it. But if you look at the pictures, you know, unless you like did the whole zoom action, you probably would not really give it another thought. So he picked up the height Y70. I did a case swap for him. And then like a couple of days later, it comes back into the garage. The power supply decided to leave the chat and we had to swap the power supply. So he went with the Corsair 750 watt power supply and that resolved all our issues. Um, the issue with the power supply was that it was flickering and there are two dedicated videos on the case swap, the initial computer and the power supply issue. But like I said in the last video, this is more of a progressive build. He's progressively building it. And his thing was he wanted better RGB fans that he could have more control over. But in order to do that, this motherboard does not have uh, support for ARGB. So I told him, I said, you're going to have to get a better motherboard. And then you could get the fans that you want. So then he got on the Amazon. He found a deal for $300, but it came with a CPU. I told him, you don't need the CPU. But he was like, I want to give the old motherboard and CPU to my son. And then this will be for me to uh, address the fans and everything. So I'm like, cool. That's fine. Awesome. So today, we're going to swap this out, go over what he got for $300, which I think is a fair deal. And then I'm going to also show you why um, this dude is quite fortunate. Um, he got another one of these for free. And I'll tell you about that in just a sec. So let's dive into everything. So as you can see, one height Y70, two height Y70. So when he ordered this case, he ordered it on the release date and it was back ordered for two months. I think it came out October 9th. At least that's what it says on the box. And he didn't get it until January. So he called the company. He was like, hey, I just want to cancel my order. And they were like, nope, we're shipping it out. OK, cool. So he got that case. Well, then next thing you know, he gets a email from the company with another tracking number saying they're shipping out the case again. So he calls the company and the company's like, um, it's a mistake on our part. Don't worry about it. We're not going to charge you. Keep the case. Sorry for the inconvenience. So height, that's pretty awesome. So now he has another one, which um, we're going to be case swapping that for his son. I'm not going to do a whole video on that because we've already done it. But yeah, pretty cool, the company. And man, he got real fortunate on that one. So what do we got? $300. And I'll post a link if it's still available. Apparently, it's a deal that uh, Microsoft, uh, Micro Center is selling, and then you can buy it through Amazon. So you got this. So MSI Pro B760P Wi-Fi DDR4 and i5-12600KF. Not a bad little upgrade. Decent bundle. One thing I like about uh, Micro Center is that they have pretty good uh, bundles. So we're going from an i5-12400 to an i5-12600. Probably get a couple of extra frames per second in what he decides to do. And for the fans, he chose these. These are actually pretty good. So these are the Dark Rock F123 in one PWN Smart Fan Control ARGB, and they're $15. Now I've used these, great airflow, reliable. The RGB looks really good. And for the price, you can't go wrong. They daisy chain off each other. So yeah, we got a six pack because well, we got three over here, three on the top, and that should get the job done. So I think before we go ahead and even tinker with that stuff, I got to take this thing apart again. So because we've done this like twice already, we're just going to fast forward through it. I'll give you the highlights in the video. We'll do some uh, editing magic. So the easy part is pretty much we're just removing the motherboard and the fans. Um, we don't have to really take too much apart. Well, we kind of do. Graphics card's got to come out. So, okay. So everything is coming out, you know, deleting, but still shouldn't be as bad. Working in this case is really easy. So yeah, we should be able to get through this pretty quick. This is why I am not a huge fan of cable management. Well, intense cable management, let's put it that way. I gotta do, undo all my hard work. Yes, I know it's not the cleanest and prettiest, but still, I gotta take everything apart because all these fans are just integrated. So let's start cutting. Now, if you're asking about the tape, the reason why I did this is because this thing's exposed and I really didn't have a good place to mount it. And I just don't wanna take a chance that 
this thing touches something metal and shorts out. So better safe than sorry. Let's delete on these. Finally, the cooler. And the motherboard. All right, so we're clear with this. Let's go ahead and let's jump onto the new stuff. So first things first, the only thing that we really need from here is the M.2 and the memory. I think what I'm gonna do is I got some Corsair memory that would look really good and that's black. I might see if I still have that and just hook them up. Because that white is just not gonna look really good with this build. It would look good for a white build, but I don't know. We'll see what I have. We also need the M.2. CPU is going to stay here. Oh, and I can't forget, we are going to need this. Now let's pop this off in the back. These adhesives, I tell you. All right. Let's open this up. Ah, fresh, fancy. Yeah, this is a nice board. You know, sometimes you don't have to break the bank and get really expensive motherboards. You could just get something that still looks really good and we'll get the job done. Let's take this poppy right over here. gonna do is pop this in the back so we don't forget it so to kind of help them out I found these Corsair Vengeance RGB these are 3,000 I think those were also 3,000 I'm pretty sure they were 3,000 or less but this is gonna look a lot cleaner with these versus these so open this up this in just like so there we go and this is what I like I mean this is the best part about computer building now just twist it that's it no need to deal with the screws or anything like that nice now don't forget this part so a while ago, I had a customer and his M.2 was crashing and long story short, it was overheating. I think it was a PCIe Gen 5. He built the computer himself and when I went to check it to test it out, he still had the plastic on it. So yeah, it was uh, nuking itself. Never seen that before. Fortunately that, um, I guess we caught it in time. Once I put it back in and took that piece off, the computer worked fine. So. Don't forget to take the plastics. Now for the CPU. Should have a knife, but I don't know where my knives are. Or my blades. I think I gotta get some more. Match up our Legend of Zelda triangles. There's one on the motherboard. Just make sure they, you know, match up nice and easy. Slot this in very carefully. Just making sure that the notches are good. Pop this thing down. All right, looks good. Now, because we are switching from a MATX to an ATX motherboard, we need to make sure our standoffs are in the right position. It's kind of important. Cool thing about this case is that it says A for ATX, M for MATX, and then I for ITX. 
So if you didn't know that, now you do, and they make sure you know. All right, slowly trekking along. Let's open up these fans. Let's take a look at them. All right, not too bad looking. Um, some people might not like this, but the fact that if you take a look at it, it looks like uh, the fan is smaller, I think. Yeah, the blades are a little smaller, but it's fine. They've worked pretty good. So they get the job done. But like I said, they daisy chain and for the price you can't beat it and they look really good. And we'll see that once we get this thing rolling. Man, now I gotta deal with MSI Mystic Light. I hate dealing with RGB software, but hey, the job's a job. If the customer pays, I'll do it. I am gonna mount the fans this way on the back wall over here. And the reason why I'm doing that, so I'm gonna have exhaust coming out this way, and then I'm gonna have intake coming in from the top. And the reason behind that is because the way the customer has the computer set up. So this is kind of being blocked over here, at least where the wall is. I mean, he's got some room, but I think it'd be better to just get more volume of airflow from the top and then just exhaust it through the wall, uh, through the back, which is towards the wall. So that's what we're gonna do. Cable management. So we're gonna go ahead. One, two, three. Nope, just kidding. Haven't even finished uh, testing it. So got to put back together, but we still got to make sure that all the fans work. This thing powers on. So before we go down the rabbit hole of cable management, let's make sure that everything's working. So it's put back together. Looks a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. So I'm very happy with how this thing is coming out. But now we need to add power. All right, let's see. Ooh, fancy. Pretty nice. Oh, we got one RGB that's not working, so we're gonna have to figure out what I forgot to plug in. All right, so I went ahead off camera, did the cable management, had to plug in a couple of connectors just to get everything working and looks good. I sent pictures to the customer, he's very happy with it, and that's all that matters. This computer, or this case, looks so much better with this motherboard, this MSI Pro B760P Wi-Fi DDR4 motherboard. Looks really good, the black aesthetic is clean on it, it goes well with the red, and he's big into the red. So these Dark Rock fans, three pack for $15, we have six, we paid $30 for it. They look great, good airflow, they're nice and quiet, daisy chaining, can't beat it. Decent bang for the buck. So 
I'm glad this is done. He's happy with it. And hopefully I don't have to work on it anytime soon. I mean, I don't mind working on computers. I enjoy it and it's fun, but still, I'd rather computer be with the customer. They get some good use out of it and at least get a couple of months before it comes back in the garage. I'm done with this one. Now I need to do pretty much the same thing for his son's computer. That should be fun and hopefully get that done. But I'll probably work on that tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and drop this off to him because I do need to pick up some other parts that I left at the house. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticisms. Y 70 what are your thoughts? Have you ever used these Dark Rock fans? I'll put a link in the description. And what other upgrades you think he needs to do? If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. And as always, we'll see what we come up with next.